and in this video we will be making a completely free website and that to a dynamic one using a free hosting and domain account. I am going to explain the step by step process. So the first step here is to go to Google and search for Freenom and you just go to freenom.com and enter whatever name you wish to register here i have entered macd and here you get uh, three options ga cf and gq i am going to select ga and i recommend using ga because uh, tk is not allowed on the free hosting account uh, which i am using so here you can uh, select 12 months free hosting and click continue and here we, you will get an invoice of zero us dollars now you just need to enter your email id here uh, on the left side and i will be uh, using one of my um, alternate email ids and you just click verify my email and uh, you will have to uh, click through this uh, verification process uh, this might take some time if you are a newbie to this so once uh, you click uh, verify uh, you will get this uh, verification link sent message and what you have to do is you have to go to your gmail account and uh, click on the link which you get in your email i will just show you here So let's log into this account and just uh, click the email you get from Freenom. Uh, it's titled Freenom Email Verification and just click on this link. And you have you'll have to fill uh, the details uh, like first name, last name, address, zip code, city, country, state, etc. Uh, I think the mobile number can be left blank. I'm not sure let's try it out uh, no you'll have to fill it up so let's uh, put in a number and here you go and this has created your free domain so just click here to go to your client area on your domain account and on the top you will get the services uh, just click on my domains and here click on my manage domains and in the management tools above you will get a link called name servers and here you will uh, see the Freenom name servers. Uh, you will have to change this to custom name servers and then go to a site called infinity, uh, infinityfree.net and this is a free, uh, site which provides free hosting. So you just sign up here. So this is one of the sites which provides uh, free hosting. There are several of uh, the websites. Uh, just complete this very verif image verification process and uh, I missed uh, the full email ID. So let's sign in and uh, you will get another email from your hosting account. Uh, so let's verify that email too just refresh your email account and here you can just confirm your email address and once you confirm it you will get this plus new account uh, button here just click on that and here uh, you will have to enter you will have to just copy the name servers and paste it in your freenom account uh, here so uh, you'll have to paste it uh, copy and paste it one by one uh, the only change is in the first NS1, NS2, NS3 and so on. So uh, if you find this video a bit fast, uh, you can just slow it down using the YouTube's control on the bottom right corner. So once you have done that, you, you just need to enter uh, your new domain name here, makti.ga and just click on check and here you will get your account details including your hosting accounts password now keep the account password safe because this is uh, how you uh, upload files uh, later whenever you want to create a static website but uh, today we will be creating a dynamic website which will be a wordpress based uh, cms uh, 
website uh, i will just uh, show you the step by step process first just uh, click here create account and here you will get two buttons one for the control panel and another for the client area uh, i will show uh, both of these regions uh, once you click the control panel let's go to the client area first so this is your client area here you will find details about your uh, hosting account you will also see uh, your username as well as uh, your password for this hosting account and on the right side you will get FTP information about how to upload the files uh, to the server so this uh, I will be uh, discussing in one of my later videos but uh, for the purpose of this video let's go to the control panel and here you will find uh, Softaculous apps installer so just click on that and you will find several applications here which you can install by a single click so just click on WordPress and uh, just delete this WP here and leave everything else as it is and here for the site name you can just mention whatever site name you want to give I am mentioning Makri demo and for the site description I will just mention free website just keep this unticked and for the password here you can give whatever password you want to give uh, when you want to log into the back end of the WordPress website. So uh, remember that that password also. And here I advise you to click on uh, limit login uh, attempts and then just click install. So this will uh, install WordPress in a moment. So here you will get the message that WordPress has been successfully installed and you can just click on the home page now and you will uh, see that you already have a website called makti.ga and you have a number in front uh, so uh, we will be changing this uh, shortly so for example when you click on this hello world post you will get p is equal to 1 so instead of that we will be using some SEO friendly URLs so to do that you just have to click here on the admin section URL and that will uh, bring you here at the back end of the uh, WordPress website. Just go to settings permalinks and click on post name and save changes. So this will make the URL uh, quite fancy. So for example now if you go to home page and click on hello world you will notice that the urls are seo friendly so this is how uh, you can make changes to the uh, permalinks you can go to pages and uh, you can already see that there is a call a page called sample page but on the home page of your website you will uh, not see this page because you will have to manually add uh, to the menu of the wordpress uh, that's how WordPress works. Uh, you can refer any of the documentation regarding WordPress. Here you can go to appearance menus and just uh, click on create new menu. That will bring this uh, uh, right side uh, field called menu name. You just have to enter the menu name here. I will just put on uh, main menu and click on create menu and in the bottom side just tick the top menu uh, checkbox and on the left side just click on sample page and add to menu that will add this sample page to the top menu and just click on save menu here on the bottom right now let's check on our home page here now you have you will notice that the page has been added to the top menu similarly you can add additional pages a number of pages so that's why i called this a dynamic website because it's uh, interactive in nature so let's add a new page here uh, called about and i will just uh, type some random text here and you just need to click publish to save this and go to menus and tick the about checkbox and click add to menu that will add this menu here just click on save menu and let's go to the home page 
and here you see that the page has been already added uh, to our website so you can also change the overall design by going to appearance themes and here you will find the default uh, three th th themes which are uh, available in the WordPress by default you can activate any one of these for example I am activating this one so let's go to the new design so here you can see that the content of the website hasn't changed but the design has changed so it's that easy uh, it's uh, even easier uh, even after you have posted some content to the website now that's the speciality of content management system and WordPress is one of those CMS so this is uh, one of the other themes which is available uh, in the WordPress backend apart from these uh, three uh, available themes there are several new themes which you can install from the backend to do this you just uh, go to themes and click on add new and you will find several themes here uh, you can even click on popular to get some popular themes so once it's loaded you can just uh, scroll down and select any one of these themes I will just install this uh, business uh, spa theme and uh, I have just activated it and this is how it looks so you can further customi customize these themes uh, it's a very uh, vast topic to cover in this tutorial for the time being I have shown you how to create a, a website a dynamic website totally free of co cost including a domain name and a hosting account and that to a dynamic website so hope you like this series on how to create a dynamic website in under 10 minutes uh, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and uh, please click the bell icon so that you get all uh, the channel updates.